What up guys, welcome back to another Ad Adventures video. I am in Ahmed, had the most beautiful ride here and uh, these girls are helping me find my accommodation for the night because I was lost. Cute dog. This is where I'm staying, the Ahmed Stop Inn. Let's go check it out. This was the uh, cheapest place on booking.com because that's how I roll. Morning guys, this is my room. This is my $5 a night room. Got a little desk area, bed, shelves over here, bathroom, pretty simple. But yeah guys, at just five bucks a night, I can't complain, especially when you got a view like this. So, now, I'm about to go try something I've never done before. I'm gonna go fly my drone, but not the drone I flew yesterday. This is the drone I usually fly. I've flown this one in all my videos. I'm going to try to fly this drone, and this is my first time putting a GoPro on it. So it's like really, really heavy right now. I don't even know if it's gonna take off with the current like settings I put in it. I might have to plug it back in my computer and fine tune a whole bunch of stuff. But this thing is a beast, and I'm gonna go attempt to fly it around here. Hopefully I don't lose it. <laughs> It's not grass, but it's a big, dry area, plenty of place to land, no people that are gonna distract me or cars that are coming in and out, big parking lot. This is gonna have to be the place. Shit, I came down way harder than I meant to. And all these dogs were barking at me. Woo, hope that's okay. I put that big crazy drone away in my hotel room, grabbed my trusty DJI Mavic Mini 2, and began to explore a med. The big sign over here. Man, this area is beautiful. But there's so many boats over here. One thing that's taking just a little bit of getting used to here in Bali is all the barking dogs, just barking for no reason. It's uh, a little traumatic for me because I actually got bit by a dog when I was living in Thailand maybe like five years ago and it was on the first day that I moved to an island for the month and it was this dog was like between my accommodation and the city and so I had to literally like pedal bike past it every single day and this dog would like chase me every single day this dog that bit me on my first day there so <sighs> just got to breathe a little bit most of the dogs here are just like barking dogs they don't really they're not really trying to bite you you just have to like yell at them if they get too close and like show your dominance. I guess that's like the best approach. Like there's no reason for that. No reason. I will do the Ikan Kalapa. Yeah, fish, coconut sauce, yes. rice. That sounds perfect. I actually just had a free breakfast at my hostel. Um, they serve coffee, which was pretty good. Bali coffee and banana pancakes but it was quite small and I really like protein, lots of protein for breakfast, so I'm stopping to get some fish. All right, my breakfast has arrived. I got the barracuda with rice. Absolutely delicious for 30,000. Wow. Before snorkeling, it was time to quick make a bottle of Traveler's Cold Brew. Plastic bottle, instant coffee, cold water, shakety shakety. Google Maps says I have arrived at Shipwreck Point. About to go check it out. Hoping I can rent a mask for like less than 20,000 because uh, I didn't bring a mask. So I'm not gonna be able to see anything without one. And I uh, really don't wanna get ripped off because I probably don't have many options to rent a mask. But uh, oh, this beach is beautiful. Hopefully she can hook me up with a mask. That'd be awesome. I think she's asking her dad right now. I think she said, hey, dad. Mascar? We'll see. Guess I'm working with this guy on the other side of the ladder. I haven't even seen him yet. Hello. Size? Size uh, large. 12 uh, USA size. So you need the equipment? Uh, equipment would be great, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I was gonna go without equipment, but with equipment is better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you need mask and pin. Mask and fin would be wonderful, yeah. Yeah, many foreigners here today, actually. It seemed like a really nice family that lived there, just on the other side of that wall. Rents this equipment to tourists and everything. And seems like a pretty good little business they have. They charge 50,000 for a mask and uh, flippers and 
I didn't try to negotiate at all because I felt like that's actually pretty fair. If he would have came at me with like 100,000 for that, I would have tried to get down to like 20,000 um, or walked away. But I feel like 50,000 is fair for that. Let's go check out the Japanese ship. That was some excellent snorkeling. That ship was beautiful. The coral was beautiful. There were tons of fish in there. So many different types of fish. This one even almost ate my camera. Um, but no, in all seriousness, like this was amazing. It, this is like the best $3.50 I ever spent to rent that mask, do that snorkeling. That was incredible. Now, I'm done with that, and I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but uh, let's go check out more of a med. All right, I figured out what I'm gonna do. I'm going over to the Gilly Viewpoint. There's a Gilly Viewpoint, maybe 10 minutes or so from where I am right now. There's a, a chain of, I think it's three islands, Gilly T, Gilly Minnow, Gilly Air, that are beautiful, beautiful islands. A little hard to get to right now, unfortunately, because technically they're part of Lombok, so I'd have to get a COVID test to, to get over there, unfortunately. Um, but before uh, before COVID, it was kind of like an extension of Bali. You just head over to Gilly T when you want to have that small, small island life, get a good party on. But uh, yeah, I saw Gilly Viewpoint on the map, so I'm just heading there right now. Let's go check it out. I think this is it right here. So I think if it was a little bit clearer out, we'd be able to see the, the Gilly Islands right back here. Not today though. It's starting to rain a little bit. A little too cloudy for that, unfortunately. I think I'll get uh, water. Thank you very much for the water. See you. Bye. Adios. See you. It's uh, just had a night, try to communicate with them a little bit. No English. It's raining. I'm gonna get back to some shelter here quick before I get too drenched because I don't have many clothes on this trip and I don't want to get all my clothes soaking. A huge storm rolled in for most of the afternoon. I guess that's really common in Ahmed, like December, January, February. But eventually there was a break in the storm and I just had to get out and try flying my FPV drone again. All right, here goes nothing. All right, the last FPV shot I took didn't work that well. This try, this is the next one, and I'm about to get rained out. Uh, not good. It's raining. I just put my GoPro on my drone and it went down. So I just crashed it and uh, oh, this is not good because uh, the drone is like $300 and then the GoPro is like $350 and um, there's dogs on the beach. Hello. Did you see drone? Ah. Man, I'd, it could very easily be in the ocean. These dogs could very easily be um, about to attack me. That's not, that's not good. Oh, man. Today's literally my first day putting the GoPro on the drone. Not good. Um, I don't think I'm recovering it at this point. And even if I do, it almost certainly landed in the ocean, and um, the salt water, I'm sure, is going to kill it immediately. This gentleman saw my drone go down, so we're, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. I met a whole bunch of fishermen down there, and uh, they, all saw, they all saw it go by. None of them um, saw it go down, though. So I'm going to go get the goggles and try connecting the goggles while I'm down on the beach because hopefully I just lost video reception and then I can, uh, while I'm down there, actually have video reception because there's not these trees and stuff in the way. Fingers crossed. Oh my God. They found it. <laughs> you found it? It was in the ocean? It was in the ocean and you dove and you found it. Oh my gosh, thank you. That is so good. <laughs> that is 
Oh, it went down over there. <laughs> Thank you so, so balloon. much. Wow, Komon, who found it, is my absolute hero. He, uh, I cannot believe he found it in the ocean. He said it was like 30 meters off of the shore. He was like, uh, he was working on his net and he said he heard it and then he like heard it and he was pretty sure it went down there and he was right. I was looking at a completely different part of the beach. I am so thankful that he took the time to go look for that for me. Honestly, the people of Indonesia continue to impress in their hospitality and their warmth and just how nice they are and how willing they are to help anyone. That's so, I love that about traveling in Indonesia, Thailand specifically. The locals here are just so, so nice and Vietnam, just so very friendly. But yeah, I'll end this one here, guys. Incredible. And uh, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one.